How is it going, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, what I've got for you is a 300,000 coin foot champions squad builder. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, this squad is a squad that I have built that I think will play really well in foot champions. It would suit my sort of play style, which I think is very common this year. I play a 4-4-2 flat most of the time, which I think a lot of people have been playing this year. Um, and my play style, what I've, from what I've seen, is very similar to how other people play. Um, a little bit of wing play here and there, some decent forward play in terms of uh, one twos with attackers and some good center mid play um it's hard to really explain without watching it but i do stream gameplay every day if you guys want to come check it out link in the description down below but this squad is worth about 300,000 coins you can adjust for inflation i think that over the next few days it might be worth maybe 320 330 and then post weekend league it might be worth about 280 290 so there and thereabouts around the 300,000 coin mark uh, and i think it's got just about the right players in each position. Uh, anyway, we're going to start off with the goalkeeper straight away. We're going to go with the goalkeeper that I found to be pretty OP. We're going to go with Neto. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much Neto is worth. I think he's worth about three or 4,000 coins. Uh, I know how much the more expensive players in this squad are worth, but Neto is worth about 4,000 coins. Uh, decent goalkeeper all round. Uh, he's just got nice stats in each position. He works pretty well uh, in the goalkeeper spot. Now, I've left him on basic. Now, you can add a chem style. I've seen a lot of people using glove on their goalkeepers um you can add a glove cam style if you want to i leave my goalies basic just because i always have done i have done since last year it's just a bit of a habit really um anyway over the right back spot we've actually got a another brazilian we've got a full brazilian defense here actually we're going with bruno perez um really solid right back actually uh, I've been playing a lot in uh, in friendlies as opposed to uh, in Div Rivals. I'm currently on 2,000 skill rating in Div Rivals and it's really difficult to play against people without your main team. So I played against a few of you guys in friendlies and things like that um, via uh, the new friendlies uh, game modes and stuff like that with this team. So unfortunately, the stats do not track, which is really annoying, but there you go. Anyway, uh, Bruno Perry is a really solid right back. I applied a Sentinel to improve his uh, defending and his uh, physicals. Um, um, it actually works really well, and you, you will see the difference in a second when we add our first centre-back, which is going to be none other than Eder Militao, who is absolutely solid this year. Really solid centre-back. I had an anchor chem style to him. He is a fantastic centre-back this year. Um, if I was you, if you're not a very good defender, or you're learning defending, and you feel like you're not confident in defence, get yourself Eder Militao. Eder Militao, uh, if you make a mistake, recovers so quickly. Uh, I don't know why he's just overpowered to be honest but he recovers from mistakes really quickly and uh, he, he's really good at tackling he's got great strength really quick in game i like him a lot um and yeah the sentinel chem style adds a lot to bruno perez's card brings him up to 70 strength uh brings him up to 71 aggression um 76 defensive awareness 76 interceptions he works really well as a right back as well um the left center back now is going to be probably the most overpowered center back that isn't joe gomez that i've tried this year so Diego Carlos is ridiculous this year. He's absolutely ridiculous. Another anchor on him. You can go with a shadow as well, though. I, this guy partnered with uh, Edem Militao. It's just impossible to get through them. They are like an absolute wall in defense. They are phenomenal. But I, I highly recommend if you guys have got the 50,000 coins that he's worth or the 60,000 coins he's worth right now, get him. He'll improve your defense massively. He's very similar to Edem Militao in the way he plays. And he just plays so well in game. Big, big fan of this card. Uh, I was using um, Varane in Rio Ferdinand before. And I know it's only friendlies. It's not necessarily Div 1 rivals or foot champions. But like it, it almost swayed me to go with Carlos and Militao after using them. Because they just feel incredibly solid. And over at left back, we have gone with none other than... And, uh, Alex Tellez, no, we've not. Uh, we've gone with Renan Lodi, who I was unsure about when I first used him, but actually is pretty solid in game. Now, he's worth, I, I'm not entirely sure the exact amount he's worth. Uh, in fact, I'm going to quickly check for you now on Footbin. Um, Renan Lodi, though, he is actually surprisingly really solid. He's worth about 9,000 coins, and I was surprised when I used him. Now, I put an anchor on him again to improve his physicals and defending, and he's a really good defensive left back. Uh, he's a bit similar to Alex Tellez and Alexandro in the sense of how he plays. Um, he's also a left foot but he's got four star skills which i find quite useful on a left back uh, and a right back because you can do a few skill moves that you couldn't do with a three or two star that actually get you out of a few tricky positions but i like him a lot he does push forward a little bit too often which i'm not the biggest fan of uh, and that's due to his high medium work rate but i don't think you'll find a good a good left or right back without a high medium work rate so you kind of have to deal with it 
Anyway, we have gone with a Brazilian <laughs> right CDM. It's just a Brazilian squad. It's actually Fred at right CDM. Uh, he's a little bit expensive at the minute. I think he's around 30,000 coins, but massively worth it. He is so good and so well-rounded in midfield. Now, he's left-footed with a four-star, four-star and high, high work rates. I actually played him as a left center mid in this setup. Um, and I'll show you guys the right center mid in just a second. But he works incredibly well with the right center mid. It's almost an absolute perfect synergy. Uh, he is phenomenal. Big, big fan. And if you can afford him highly recommend using him for the for foot champions i think he'll work really really well now the other cdm uh and sentiment in the setup is actually marcus urente another phenomenal player eighteen and a half thousand coins for this card three star three star high high work rates again ridiculously overpowered i applied an engine you can apply an anchor or a shadow if you want to um I went with the engine to up his balance a little bit, but this guy is really good on the ball and off the ball. Makes really good recovery runs, and I like that a lot about him. He covers the defense really, really well. And I'm a big fan of Marcus Llorente for that reason. Now, in the center mid spot, we have gone with uh, our first striker, uh, who is starting as a center mid. It's actually Gabriel Jesus. Now, when I first used him, I wasn't sure how I felt about this card. But the more I use him, the more I warm up to him. His R1 dribbling is phenomenal and he gets into really good positions. Um, his attack position is really, really good. He's shooting. It, it, if you are used to really either good players, for example, you play draft or you have, say, a striker like Harry Kane who's got phenomenal shooting, it's a bit of a learning curve because he hasn't got the world's most powerful shot and he misses a few sitters. But... I think that he makes up for it a lot in his supporting runs and in his, his build-up play. It just it makes it a lot easier to build up play with him. Uh, over on the right wing spot, we've got. For the, I'm surprised this is the first time that I've used this card this year, but it's a Dharma Troy, all right, and it is the first time that I've used him in this setup. And he is just broken. I don't. I can't explain it. He's broken. He's five foot ten, but he looks about six foot two in game. He is built like a brick wall in game. He is so strong. You cannot get him off the ball. If you are a defender and you don't get gold side of him, and say if you get the wrong side of a Dharma Traore and he's gold side, you go you literally can't get the ball back. He's won about five penalties for me. He is so strong and so good on the ball. Big, big fan of Adama Traore this year. He's quite pricey. He is quite pricey. I think he's about 30,000 coins. I'm not exactly sure the exact price on him. I just know the, the price overall of the squad. He's about, yeah, about 30,000 coins, but rapid, great at dribbling, and just strong as an ox. Mad. mad. He's, he's honestly a crazy card. Now, over on the left wing spot, We've got a card, again, another first time for me. We've gone with Carrasco here. Uh, 4,000 coins for this card. And for his in-games, it's actually really impressive, that kind of price. Uh, the only thing that let Carrasco down, in my opinion, was actually stamina. Um, he does a lot of running in-game. And his stamina depleted quite a lot. I was finding him in like the, the low 40s, sometimes high 30s with stamina towards the end of the game. Wasn't the biggest fan, unfortunately. But apart from that, he's one of the better cards you can get at that left wing spot now. Other options are play the month or in for Mansu Fati. Uh, he would work really, really well there as well. But I went with Carrasco in this instance and was decent. And actually had a really decent shot on him, surprisingly. His finesse shots felt really good. I was quite surprised at his finesse shots, actually. And to finish off the squad, we've gone with our striker, who is, as you've probably guessed it already, um, and if you haven't, you'll guess it now, Richarlison. Um, this guy is a beast in game. He's absolutely incredible in game. I would maybe use um, a finisher in game as, as the chem style, but I used him more as a powerhouse in this instance and really good. Gets on the end of crosses really well as well. He's so good at getting on the end of crosses. Uh, but no, I was a big fan of Richarlison and this team in general. Now, I played one formation in game. I set up four, but I played one formation in game. I played a 4-4-2 in game with balance and long ball as my tactics. Uh, and this is what it's set up as in game. Um, set up with uh, Gabriel Jesus and Richarlison. Uh, I actually, that make, that that explains a lot. It's supposed to be Richarlison on the left, Gabriel Jesus on the right, but that explains a lot. That, I was wondering why um, that was the other way around. But they're both on get it behind, stay forward. I've got both centre mids on stay back while attacking cover centre. I've got Adama Chore and Carrasco on stay wide, get in behind. I've got Lodi and Bruno Perez on stay back while attacking. And it works really well because the wingers are super fast and make really good runs down the wing. Um, and it creates a lot of open space in behind as well. Uh, and players make darting runs in behind. It works really well. The only thing I will say, you have a massive gap 
where where your opponent can hold a lot of possession between the halfway line and your final third because your center mids when you're on the deep when you're when you're defending tend to drop back quite a lot and your attackers tend to stay forward quite a lot so there's a big gap in between right around the center circle uh, and towards your half um, where your opponents can get a lot of possession so if you don't like playing against someone that has a lot of possession it might not be the best for you. But I set up a few different tactics. Now, I went with a 4-2-3-1 as well. Very similar. Just balanced uh, four depth and balanced uh, attack as well with max width. Um, and this is what it's set up as in-game with Richarlison as Cam and Gabriel Jesus as the striker. This one, I think, will work probably a little bit better for you guys, um, especially if you prefer holding possession. Um, but it's basically the exact same setup, just a different formation. Uh, I went with a Ultra D uh, tactic here with one depth. Now, I wouldn't recommend this, but if you need to see out a game, you're in the dying moments of the game, then this might work really well for you. And the reason why I've gone with a super narrow 4-2-3-1 as opposed to a super wide one is because players will come towards the ball a lot more. And the, the further they've got to travel, the more time your opponent has to press you. You want players closer to you if you want to hold the ball. So this is one of those, if you need to hold possession, it's got come back on defense on my two wide cams and then the same with literally everybody else, um, bar Gabriel Jesus. And this is if you want to hold out a game that you're in the dying moments of a game. And then we've gone with a 4 and 2 on 2 If you're trying to get the ball back off people, um, it's a 4 and 2 on 2 narrow with uh, 4 depth, uh, fast build-up, decent width and plays in the box. Uh, Adama Shoyori is a left center mid. Uh, Marcus Urente is a right center mid. Uh, Carrasco, Cam, Gabi Jesus and Richarlison as the strikers. Again, not entirely sure why they're the wrong way around. Um, but it's got them on uh, getting behind, stay forward, stay forward on Carrasco, balanced on both uh, center mids and then stay back attacking on Fred, Renan Lodi and Bruno Perez. And that one is more of a press formation if people are holding the ball against you. But that is the 300k champs team. Let me know a budget down below and I'll bring you guys a team that I recommend for foot champs. Uh, um, over the next few days and weeks. Uh, but thank you all for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here and I'll see you later.